Buenos dias. My name is Erica Nungre. I'm an education support professional in the Clark County School District and serve as ESP at large for NSCA. NSCA has been discussing respecting educators quite a bit this season and with good reason. One reason is we have a severe shortage of, edu of education pro support professionals to make our schools run. With pay as low as $11 per hour in some counties, we simply cannot find employees to do these jobs. And that's a shame. ESPs make our schools run. It's that simple. It doesn't matter what our job title is. Our goal is the same, making sure that our students have a great school day every day and get the best education possible. With low pay, safety concerns, and unfair retirement options, these positions are not competitive. People leave and don't come back if they ever started to begin with. We'd like to say you can't spell respect without ESP. But, with, but what does respect in educators really mean? It means fair compensation, being treated well, and having the ability to retire from a profession we love. That brings me to Assembly Bill 222. Assembly Bill 222 levels the playing field between certified and classified employees in our school districts. It is one step to making the job of an ESP competitive again. AB 222 would allow ESPs to receive a full year of PERS service credit for at least nine months of the school year. As you've heard, unlike certified employees, ESPs do not receive the same benefit. I am someone who would benefit from the passage of Bill AB 222. As my full-time status is not calculated the same as other district employees whom I am with throughout the day, the entire day as we work to ensure our kids have a great education. AB 222 seeks to correct this inequity. ESPs play a vital role each and every day inside and outside of our classrooms. We are often the first person to greet our students each morning and the last ones to say goodbye for the day. From start to finish, ESPs are there. We deserve respect. And, and re if I could just ask you to wrap up. Okay, and respect means passing bills like Assembly Bill 222. I urge your support. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And I, I will remind them, we do have another bill to hear, so I just I want everybody to be kind of respectful for each other. And I, I appreciate you Thank going. You. Um, but just make sure that you're mindful of that. And if somebody said something in your argument that you've already said, um, as you so eloquently said, please feel free to just say ditto. Thank you. Good morning, Madam Chair and Assemblyman. My name is Carrie Finn, and I'm an education support professional at Pioneer Academy in Carson City. I'm also the president of the Carson Educational Support Association. I am speaking in support of Assembly Bill 222. We like to say that education support professionals, or ESPs, are the backbone of our public education system. It doesn't matter what the job title is, our end goal is the same, making sure that our students are healthy, safe, and academically successful. You will recall that earlier on in the pandemic, ESPs were hailed as heroes and essential. We were then, and we still are now. We came into our schools to ensure Nevada students were fed, our teachers were supported as they worked remotely, and we made sure that our students had Wi-Fi access as we drove Wi-Fi-enabled school buses around our communities to support the students. These tasks are integral to a functioning district, pandemic or not. Retention and recruitment are just as important with ESPs. The educator shortage we hear about every day includes a shortage of ESPs throughout the state as well. Some of our staff work as little as $11 per hour. We cannot simply focus on certified staff. Our classified workers are just as important and we must take actions to make this job, <clears throat> to make this a job people wanna have and keep until retirement. The way the law stands right now is discriminatory towards all education support professionals. AB 222 would allow ESPs to receive a full year of per service for working at least nine months of the school year. Changing the current practice of offering partial credit to ESPs would provide an excellent incentive to attract and retain employees in Nevada School District. As ESPs, we need to be treated fairly. Each and every day we play a vital role inside and outside of our classrooms. In closing, education support professionals deserve respect. AB 222 seeks to even the playing field and remove this inequity. Respect all educators. I urge your support of Assembly Bill 222. Thank you. I don't think your mic is on. Better? Thank you. 
Good morning, my name is Andrea Kelly and I am from Winnemucca, Nevada. I am the Humboldt County Support Staff Organization President. I'm here to talk about AB 222. Education support professionals, or ESPs, play a vital role inside and outside of our classrooms. ESPs keep our schools running while ensuring students are safe, healthy, and ready to learn. There is a shortage of ESPs in Nevada with hundreds of vacancies statewide. We believe that AB 222 is about respect, fairness, and also about the recruitment and retention of education support professionals who are the backbone of our school districts. Assembly Bill 222 aims to level the playing field between certified and classified employees in Nevada's school districts, ensuring that nine to 11 month education support professionals accrue a full year of per service credit each school year. Paraprofessionals working side by side with the teacher for the school year should receive the same service credit toward their retirement Fair is fair. If we calculate a 50-year-old teacher at nine months for 10 years, 122 months, and she is paid for the entire 12 months of PERS in comparison to a nine-month classified educational support staff employee with 10 years at only nine months paid per the 12-month year, it would take the support staff employee two and a half years longer to reach those 10 years. Is this how we think these hardworking individuals? Our ESPs are paying close attention to your answer. Please tell them they are valued and worthy of AB 222 being passed. With fast food restaurants blinking signs and promising $18 per hour to start, $3 an hour more than some of our ESPs beginning salaries at Humboldt County School District, let's give them an incentive to stay. We can't afford to lose any more great people. Thank you, and if we could please wrap up. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning, Madam Chair, members of the committee. For the record, Randy Saltero representing the Employee Support, Edu I'm sorry, Education Support Employees Association, ESCA. Uh, I will keep my uh, comments brief because there are folks down in uh, Las Vegas that uh, persons that, uh, that belong to this organization that actually work these jobs every day, and I would rather you hear from them. Uh, ESCA is in full support of uh, AB 222. Thank you. Good morning, Chair, members of the committee. My name is Fran Almarez. I am here today representing the custodians and bus drivers represented by Teamsters Local 14 in the school system in Las Vegas, and I urge your support of this bill. Uh, they deserve to have uh, a less time that they have to put in uh, before retirement. Thank you. Good morning, Chair. My name is Susie Martinez. I am the Executive Secretary Treasurer of the Nevada State AFL-CIO, and I echo the previous comments, and we are in support of Assembly Bill 222. Thank you very much. Good morning, Chair. Uh, committee members, Todd Inglesby, President of the Professional Firefighters Nevada. We are in full support of this. Um, my kids are in the uh, public school system. Uh, these folks who are up here speaking uh, before me are, I truly, are the backbone. Um, we talk about how important education is and to make our uh, school system better. Uh, I think this is where it starts because we need to invest in those who take care of our kids and build the next leadership uh, and people who are going to be sitting in your seat someday and my seat someday. Thank you. Good morning, Madam Chair, members of the committee and staff. My name is Rick McCann, Nevada Association of Public Safety Officers and a member of the Nevada Law Enforcement Coalition. Uh, very quickly, this is fair. It's just fair. I mean, we don't pay these people crap. Uh, so retirement is really important to them. That's what this is all about. Uh, so I ditto everything everybody else has said in, in my strong language. Thanks. Thank you, and I think at this time we'll go ahead and go down to Las Vegas for those wishing to testify in support. Good morning, committee members. My name is Jan Giles, and I'm the president of the Education Support Employees Association. Jointly with Teamsters, we represent 13,000 support professionals that work in the Clark County School District. I myself have worked for Clark County for over 26 years, and fortunately, uh, a majority of these years, I will receive a full year's PERS credit for each year. 
Unfortunately, there are over 9,000 CCSD employees who do not earn a full year's credit. A nine-month, six-hour employee will need to work 40 years, and a seven, uh, sorry, excuse me, a nine-month, seven-hour employee will need to work 32.7 years to retire with 30 years credit. These employees work side by side with teachers that also work nine months and they earn a full year's credit. Why are support professionals treated with such disparity? Nine month employees are the lowest paid employees in the district making poverty wages. The average median wage for a nine month employee is $21,000. A, a majority of these employees work second jobs to supplement the low wages and unpaid days during school breaks and summer. Due to the Social Security windfall provision, these employees won't receive full retirement benefits from these positions either. CCSD has over 700 unfilled professional, support professional positions. These positions are vital to running healthy schools and to provide the highest level of education to Clark County students. Clark County students deserve the best education we can provide. We can't accomplish this without compensating ESPs with adequate, adequate wages and benefits. The Clark County School District cannot retain these employees. They currently have a 20% turnover rate with new nine month employees. After these new employees start, they realize they can't afford to work for CCSD, so they end up leaving the district. We have to stop this revolving door. AB 222 would strengthen our retention problem. Please support AB 222, thank you. Thank you, next. Good morning, my name is Terry Schumann and I am a, an education support professional in, excuse me, in Clark County. Today I will be speaking on AB 222. Support staff employees in CCSD are extremely hard workers. We are up and asked to do things that our teachers would never dream of doing. Currently, we are between five to 700 support staff short, meaning that our small groups in our school classes cannot be addressed. Our one-on-ones, our, um, our SPTA students, our special needs students are not getting the services they desire or need, and um, many other things are being un undone. I want to share with you a scenario that has happened to me. Um, for four years straight, I was um, surplus, meaning that through no fault of my own, I was placed in a different position. Um, not due to my work ethic, um, my titles were awesome, such as Shania Twain Kids Can Club, Gear Up, and other things that um, were eliminated through no fault of our, us. So my um, hours went from eight to seven, back to eight, and then down to seven. If AB 222 had been passed at this time, I would still be able to receive my full PERS, but because um, I was on a Ferris wheel right of up, down, up, down. Now I am short. I have been placed in a position now where I am very close to retirement. Tomorrow I celebrate my 17th anniversary in the school district. And um, I would like to see this AB 222 passed just so this does not happen to anybody else. We deserve our purrs. Thank you, and if you we could please start wrapping it. up. Thank you. And I would appreciate your yes vote. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next. Autumn Tampa, um, I am an education support professional, and I am just overwhelmed with wonderful feelings of all the support here. Um, I'm not going to repeat all the things that people have said about the, you know, the uh, 12,000 employees and um, that kind of thing. But I'm going to tell you that a couple of years ago, I went to check on what my retirement would be and what would happen. And um, I was devastated. I found out that number one, half of my social security money would be taken away because I'm working for the district. And then I got the calculations on my PERS and found out I was not getting full credits. I, in most of my jobs, have worked um, as alongside a teacher. I'm a literacy language intervention specialist, 
And I work with a teacher every day with all the same students, all day long doing the same exact job that she's doing as far as tutoring English language learners. And I'm not getting the full credit that she's getting. I'm only getting nine months, which means I am going to have to work harder and longer. And I'm going to make less money in the end because I don't get paid as much as a teacher. So um, I really am in strong support of this, and I'm very, very grateful that people are presenting this bill and supporting this bill. Um, and I am grateful for all the other speakers here and everything that they've said because it is 100% true. Um, this bill probably will not impact me personally, but it gives me hope for the future. And so I really, really hope that we find a way to make this bill work and make this bill happen. Thank you. My name is Jason Gately. I'm a representative with the Teamsters Union here, Local 14 here in Las Vegas. We are partnered up with ESEA in representing uh, the support professionals at CCSD. We represent over 1,500 bus drivers that are not considered full-time, yet daily, in and out, they transport thousands of students safely throughout our valley, and they're not they don't get received the same credit each year for the work in which they do. This injustice must be changed, it must be fixed immediately. Our drivers are human beings, our drivers are full people, but yet they're not treated as 100% full people and not given the same recognition as the people that they work with throughout the district. Thank you for your time. Thank you, next. Good morning, my name is Ms. Diomos. I am the current ESEA Para Professional Director. I have worked with CCSD for 16 years full-time in special education, and I am an SPTA. I am a mother trying to provide for my family, and I love what I do working with our most vulnerable students. I have been working side-by-side -side with amazing licensed personnel, and they have always treated me as an equal, but unfortunately, the current pension does not. I am asking for you to help fix this gap with AB 222. ESP should not have to work 30 plus years to retire. We struggle as, as it is with the increase in our cost of living. Many ESPs have had to leave our district to seek higher paying jobs. And I believe that fixing AB 222 with the help of retaining employees and hiring more will help us. We need to be at our best and tired and worn out to make it to our retirement isn't our best. Our students deserve more. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And I'll remind those testifying uh, from Las Vegas, I do have um, another bill after this one that I know will have why a lot of individuals wishing, wishing to testify. So if I could just ask that if you are going to be repeating comments that others have said, um, please just say ditto uh, and, and make a quick case and then move on to the next one so I could have as much people represented as possible. Thank you. I'll be very brief. My name is Fred Horvath, and I'm the Secretary Treasurer of Teamsters Local 14, and we have the pleasure of partnering with the ESEA and the representation of 13,000 support staff at the Clark County School District. This is actually a very direct and easy fix. The conflict arises out of NAC 286.501 and the definition of full-time. Uh, full-time at the school district is eight hours, and so if you work full-time and you work eight hours, you get the 1.3 multiplier defined in 286.501. If you don't, you don't get that multiplier. It's as simple as correcting full-time to full schedule. We have people who work seven and a half hours a day, seven hours a day, six and a half, six, and they work every day that the eight hour people work and the teachers work and it's nothing more complicated than they getting a full year service credit for working their full schedule over the course of the year. Thank you. Good morning everybody, my name is Anthony Boone III. I am a campus security monitor here in the Clark County School District and I'm also a member of ESEA and I am full support of a bill AB222 because we work just as much as, as a, um, um, school professionals, and we feel that we should get the same as they do to level the playing field. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next. Hi, Hi my name is Jacqueline Anderson, and I were, I'm part of ESEA. Um, just pretty much want to say I work six hours every day for for a week every day I work six hours um, I'm really upset because I found out today that it's gonna take me about 45 years to retire so I hope this bill passes and 
I've been with the district for four years and I found out today I won't be able to receive, start even collecting until I'm seven years. So I'm hoping some things change. So thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Is there anyone else in Las Vegas? BPS on the line, is there anyone on the line wishing to testify in support of AB 222? 